Alright guys, it's Seagraph 2019 and there's a whole lot of things coming out. Everyone is trying to show off one thing or the other and today we've got news. And today's news is actually coming from the guys at Adobe. Adobe? Alright, so the guys that actually manage the Substance Alchemist, we've got news from them today. And today's news has to do with the official release, alright? So today's news has to do with the official release of Substance Alchemist, the trial version which is valid for use for 30 days. So just in case you were not able to get your hands on the Substance Alchemist when it was in beta, probably because you had no subscription or you had subscription, you just couldn't get, get the launcher or you got the launcher. Maybe something just happened around, the, you know, you couldn't just get your hands on it. Now you can go over, link is gonna be in the description where you can go and get this, you know, get this to play with it and use it for, you know, creating augmented digital materials. And we covered an extensive video on the channel where we talked about Substance alchemist and how you can use it link is also going to be in the description i'll put an end note to this so you can go through and find it we covered the news when it came out recently and today we're getting the news that this is officially out and for trials you can go through and use this now there is a couple of features that will be coming over to substance alchemist really really soon and nonetheless few days according to the guys at adobe so a few days from now we will be having a release of a beta version and so there's a new beta version which will be captioned the substance alchemist beta 0.8 now this 0.8 will come with a couple of features one of them is the new material management option which will give you the ability to actually you know load up your local folders that contains materials and you can actually go ahead and tag these materials rate them and real-time material monitoring with two dedicated views so you can actually split this thing up and you know see what it looks like with the demo which they've actually showed out which you know they're showing off you can tell that there is some sort of huge improvement that has been you know done to the ui the performance is also looking really cool from the demo which you're looking at right now and also one thing which i've come to notice is unlike the previous one when you get to you know sort out colors or you want to get color variations you get only three color variations now you can see they have a whole lot of more color variations that they can pick from a single image and you can use that to actually style your material the way you want some other things that they are saying will be coming out with the beta version which is the 0.8 that is stipulated to come out very soon has to do with the fact that now there is going to be a new filter which be called the delighter filter now this delighter filter will be able to actually remove baked in light information when you get to generate materials from photographic sources that has to do with you know images you take with your phone with your camera things you download from the internet now there's going to be a new filter that will be able to take out those lights and you know you can re you know relight your scene and do some very incredible things with it some of the other features that will be coming over to substance alchemist include the seam removal which i guess they will make use of the clone patch tool there is material cleanup I've already talked about the delighter which actually gets to do with albedo extraction and you already know that we can you know blend materials together you know those things are now improved from the demo which they're showing you can actually create material directly from photos and it's not just using one individual photo you can use multi photos to create materials so this is a very very interesting thing which i think we would all love to make use of if you want to get your hands on this tool link is going to be in the description and if you want to learn how to use this tool link is also going to be in the description there will be an end note to support this and once i'm done downloading this particular tool i will try it out and show you guys how it looks like so i'll talk about this there's going to be a walkthrough about the new 30 days version that is available so just in case you want to work with this or let say you find yourself lost with the old video which i'm going to post in the end screen you will be able to follow up and learn how to work and you know create your own materials and that's going to be about it tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and before we go it's cool to tell you guys that this is available for both windows mac and also linux so it doesn't matter what platform you're using right now you can go through download this tool and use it for whatever you want augmented digital material creation is here we've seen substance we've seen pixel tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and until i see you guys again with the tutorial updates free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace